Hello, Pi Pals. Chris here. First of all, uh, let me congratulate you for surviving the last year, 2015, and my prayers for you all mm, for the new year, 2016. Anyways, I hope you had fun and lots of smokes uh, in the last year, and I am positive that you're going to have lots of new smokes, lots of delicious. Uh, fantastic smokes this year so this is my first video in the new year and uh, I wanted to share with you what I smoked last year last year also I did a video the tobacco roundup but that was done in December this year I had a few tobaccos which came late so I didn't have time uh, to make a video uh, in December so I decided to change the format and make it in the new year Anyways, um, I have a really uh, concise list, no more than 15 tobaccos in the roundup, uh, but lots of different varieties in terms of brands, uh, lots of tobaccos from the same brands as well, uh, but let's move forward. Oh, smoking Jermaine's special etiquette flake in my Peterson 2015 Christmas pipe. This is the 999 model. Uh, this year the series was really wonderful. And I really wanted to have all the pipes. But, you know, I'm not that rich. So I contended uh, with this one. But I was very tempted to get the B10 or the 105 x 105 that was really nice the straight billiard anyways the first tobacco in our list for uh, the 2015 roundup is the flying dutchman veteran smokers uh, who have been smoking for the last few decades already know what this is uh, this is a european tobacco it's now made by orlik and it's a very nice aromatic smokes a little hot as all aromatics do but quite nice uh, i got this package courtesy of uh, my friends at cigarsindia.com uh, very nice guys if you want cigars in bangalore or in india you can go contact them very nice guys anyways so this is a really nice virginia burley uh, blend uh, i got it in uh, this is a 50 gram uh, pouch uh, when i when it was given to me it was really dry so i had to hydrate it it's still lying around with me in a jar uh, i smoke it once in a while smokes a little bit hot as i said earlier but the taste is really nice the burley gives that nutty feel to it if you sip slow um, you will be able to enjoy it a lot more. So, Flying Dutchman. I'll do a review of this tobacco because I really like it. Anyways, moving on. The second tobacco this year which I smoked. And I smoked it last year. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, in 2014 as well. And 2015 is St. Bruno Flake. Legendary tobacco. Everybody knows about it. And if you don't know about it, now you know. St. Bruno is one of the legendary British uh, tobacco it comes in a flake uh, inside the pouch is a tray just like the cookie tray or a biscuit tray and uh, the flakes are inside it it is a pouch so when you if you get it um, you should jar it immediately very nice smoke uh, a little bit on the strong side which I really like not really an aromatic but um, really nice Virginia Burley uh, really high on my list as well uh, of course, it, these are from uh, Europe, so these are not cheap. These are not dollar ten tobacco, even if they are in pouches. Uh, these will be expensive. Uh, if you want, uh, I have a few pouches coming in. If you are in Indonesia or if you are in India and you want to try it, hit me up. I'll um, arrange a few pouches for you. Moving on, what do we have in the list? Number three is. Sutlev's Molto Dolce. Um, I bought three tins of it. I gifted one to a friend of mine and uh, he still hasn't smoked it almost been a year. I smoked two tins of it. Initially it was very wet 
but the trick to smoking uh, aromatic some satlef is you jar them and then uh, you forget about them for a few months so and you know you keep coming back and uh, after a few at, at least after 8 months or so this was my go to aromatic uh, many times so satlef molto dolce really nice really creamy uh, burns uh, semi hot if you puff it too much so that totally depends on your uh, smoking style but for me this is one of the best aromatics i've ever had in 2015 anyways moving on what do we have uh just a minute my pipe always goes off and i'm talking to you guys anyways the third one sorry the fourth tobacco in the list is none other than oligolin sized really nice tobacco not strong it is touted to be virginia perique sorry guys there's no perique in it it's a virginia burley very nice from olic comes on the dry side which is okay so you can it's basically pipe ready you take out one or two flakes you stuff it fold it or you rub it out very nice smoke very aro uh, the aroma is typical of virginia hay very light on the palate not heavy you won't feel sick or anything very nice smoke if you're a new smoker try it if you're a veteran smoker i don't have to tell you anything anyways moving on the next tobacco on my list is the one i'm smoking jamaine's special latakia flake uh, this is of course is a british tobacco made in jersey li island i i suppose and it's not cheap but it's a premium tobacco people love it and if you have a little bit extra lying around i suggest you get a few tins uh, i am also getting a few tins of these in the next uh, few weeks so if you really want to try it uh, let me know uh, as i said not cheap <laughs> hit me up for the prices and all so this is one of the best um, english tobaccos i have smoked um, it's called special latakia flake but you won't find flakes in it it's basically a lump of latakia and virginias combined and you will love it i love it even if it's expensive i smoke it a lot moving on another tobacco which is either hated by the people and it is basically uh, celebrated by veterans the ribbon version of it is horrible by my standards but the flake version is fantastic aaron more flake people have a love hate relationship with this one but let me tell you you need to smoke it you need to have a few of these tins here the trick is to smoke it in a small bowl pipe or in a narrow bowl pipe you take a you could you take a pipe which has a narrow bowl you rub out a flake or one and a half flakes stuff it in and smoke it you'll get full flavors but if you smoke it in a pipe like this it won't have anything in it so take a narrow bowl which is a little bit slender a little bit tall light it up and enjoy it you can also bake it which i did and it becomes really mellow but the, the aroma is really nice so one of the one of the things what what we pipe smokers do is not just we don't smoke tobacco for the nicotine um, as cigarette smokers smokers do but uh, we love the flavors that's why we have so many pipe tobacco brands and blends uh, and no none of you know you can't find the similar you can't find the same taste in in different blends so every everything is unique anyways uh, erin more flake highly recommended for if you haven't tried it moving on 
I don't have a ton of that. I got a sample for from my friend um, in India, and I'm talking about CND's Star of the East. I was given a sample uh, of the blend and it was actually a bit dry. Uh, I had to rehydrate it. One thing about rehydration is if you rehydrate the blend, um, leave it in the jar for a few days, air it, air it for a few hours and then you should be able to enjoy it. But basically um, what I've seen in rehydration is the, 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 the deliciousness, the oiliness, uh, the, the the real flavor is usually lost when you uh, rehydrate something. There's a really good article which um, Greg Pease has uh, written on rehydration and uh, you know getting the dead tobacco back to life. But uh, when you read the article, you'll you'll understand that you may never get the same original flavor of the tobacco, but you'll get really close to it. Anyways, so start of the east bold blend very american blend latakia dominant uh, to me when i smoked it, it it's a little bit sour in profile uh, but i really like it uh, you have to smoke a few bowls to either uh, to, to basically like it uh, you might not like it you will like it i don't know but for me um, it took me a few bowls to really appreciate the blend moving on uh, To a Virginia break. Rattery Smiron Flake. Very nice blend. I did a first impression video on this thing. I need to smoke a few tins to actually do the uh, the, the full review of this thing. If you haven't smoked uh, Marlin Flake, uh, you should get a tin. $15 for 100 grams, which is a little, which is 12 grams less if you if you're able to get i mean this th doesn't come in in, in in ounces it only comes in grams also european blend uh a european tobacco so uh it'll come in 100 grams you lose 12 grams on it but anyways not talk about not talking about the economics of the tobacco but the pro profile marlin flake really good virginia perique uh very sweet in profile very light uh it can it has a trinity uh the right rays virginia periques uh, we have the old gauri with the marlin flake and halo the wind halo with the wind is one of uh, is the strongest among the three this is i think the lightest and uh, old gauri is a little a tad bit ahead of this thing i may be wrong um, i don't have my notes open but yeah try the marlin flake i really enjoyed it moving on to one of my most favorite blenders. Um, I came to know about uh, the, the blends uh, through tobacco reviews and other pipe smokers and I've been hooked since. This year, I smoked around five tins of the blends uh, from none other than Mr. Greg Pease. So uh, let's talk about those blends. Uh, the first in the line is Largo. Now this blend is cigar based English and when I uh, got the tin of uh, this blend and I had my first smoke I had really hated it. So what I did was I jarred the contents and I left it for a few weeks. I really didn't want it to go back to this blend but um, if you air, uh, this is common for Greg Peace tobaccos, if you jar them and if you air it a little bit um, after a week or so uh, they become really sublime and if you age them for a few years they become epic so key lago very nice brand cigar flea paste you should try it um, i think this is uh, one of the heirloom blends the heirloom series from get peace fantastic smoke try it the next one 
is Gaslight. Also from GLPs. Very nice plug. English, full bodied. A little bit on the rough side if you if you don't age it. Same trick. Open it up, jar it, have your first smoke. Like it, fine. If you don't like it, leave it. Ignore it for a few weeks. It'll become epic. GLPs, Gaslight. The next blend uh, in the series is, you can say, the more classy cousin of Gaslight. And I really love this blend when I got my first 2 ounce 10 and I had to order an 8 ounce one. I have lots of uh, the blend still remaining in the jar. I'm talking about GLPs is Quiet Nights. This is uh, the uh, more sophisticated uh, cousin of Gaslight. Really love it. Comes in Broken Flakes. Very strong, very full bodied. Um, very good uh, in flavor profile uh, tobacco but for me it is not a daily smoke i was actually addicted to this thing and that what what it did was it messed up my mouth mouth chemistry um a few months ago so i only smoke it once in a while um some people say that the the, the profile for quiet night is uh, quiet nights is similar to penzance no idea i haven't smoked penzance yes i have bought a bought a bag it's in the us but uh, i don't have the habit of comparing tobaccos with some something else because all tobacco blends are unique so quiet nights highly recommended if you don't like gaslight somehow if you tend to hate it go for quiet nights you will certainly love this blend anyways uh, moving on quiet nights recommended moving on to the next glp's blend is um, I think one of the best blends uh, Greg Pease has made and it's called the Sixpence. This is a Virginia Perique as well. Quite Nights is a English blend. Um, so talking about Sixpence, very nice, very flaky, fluffy, broken flakes when you open the tin. I really love it. It has a, it has um the the hints of brandy in it uh, not much i don't need to say much you must have this plant if you haven't smoked this year uh, one of the best virginia breaks in the market um and i i should say the greg is, is is a genius there's nothing he does that guy doesn't do he's a musician he's a good chef he's a winemaker he's a tobacco blend uh he's a tobacco blender he was a computer engineer so go ahead and buy this then Sixpence, highly recommended. The next one in the list uh, for last year is again uh, one of the GLP's blends. Chelsea Morning, English blend with Parik in it. Um, I think I got a bad tin of this thing. Um, I didn't like it, so I'm going to uh, buy a few more tins and then I'll, I'll form a review on this thing. But uh, Chelsea Morning is one of the highest rated uh, GLP's blends actually all are high, highly rated but this is a really nice uh, good rated and reviewed blend you should certainly try it uh, I have to buy a few more tins of these things so the GLP's lineup is done five tins five blends the next one in the list uh, are my McClellan blends and I'll start with the uh, Rock Modern Cellar. Yep. And it comes, if you are not aware of McClellan Blends, McClellan is an American tobacco company and they started in the 70s. Uh, the, all of their blends are pretty awesome. So this is Frog Modern series, Craftsbury series. Uh, Craftsbury series has around eight tobaccos in it and five of them are named uh, Frog Modern from the Lord of the Rings series. So Frog Modern Cellar. Uh, 50 gram tin I got comes in a it has a cube of uh, of a whiskey barrel in it uh, as you can see it has a whiskey aroma to it very light very mellow very sophisticated English blend highly recommended if you haven't tasted it if you haven't smoked it go ahead and buy it moving on the next uh, McLennan blend is also a frog morton and it's called Frogmorton Cellar. Let me tell you about this blend. I also did a 
uh, first impressions video on this thing. This tobacco uh, was finished in under a week when I got it. Um, it has uh, basma in it. It's a kind of a tobacco leaf which is very sweet in profile. A very nice oriental, very light, mellow, lots of taste. Uh, not not anything like very light in strength. But uh, this is an everyday smoke and I can smoke it. I can smoke like 10 bowls of it in a day. Uh, Frogmorton seller. Oh, sorry. Frogmorton on the town. Highly recommended. Go and buy it. Don't bother with the 50 gram versions. Go for the 100 gram one in the McLennan series. Um, moving on. The last uh, 10 in the McLennan one. It is a limited edition one. I didn't want it to include it, but this is what I've smoked. So I'm just reporting on it. Uh, you might be able to get it in the secondary market, eBay or from someone, uh, but it will come at a premium. Uh, this is Christmas year 2014. I aged it for a year, opened up uh, the two tins I got, still smoking it. Very nice straight Virginia. Love it. Uh, it uh, a few a little bit of the uh, a few bits of the flake will give you hours of smoke and enjoyment very nice blend medium strength uh, heavy body love it all right now we'll move on to the petersons i smoked the first one in the series um peterson connoisseur's choice good aromatic this is one of the sophisticated uh, aromatics peterson have uh, i really don't like uh, lots of peterson aromatics but this is a good one um, love it uh, what can i say about it doesn't have any vanilla in it doesn't have any maple in it but it smells good it tastes of good though the trick to aromatics open it up jar it forget it for a few months you might like it. Uh, I'm, I, I won't recommend it to my viewers or anyone else. Next one which I smoked this year was Peterson Sherlock Holmes. Don't buy it. Don't bother it. It's just air. Lots of tongue bite. Still have almost the entire tin chart. Might try it after a few years but for now not recommended it's just virginia's somehow didn't like that the next one in the list from peterson's is peterson's hyde park this is a lakeland lakeland light blend virginia's smokes a little hot so make sure you have a really nice thick walled pipe for it or a corn cob pipe i usually smoke it in my chris morgan cob vasp uh, doesn't get that much hot as you can see thick balls thick walls you might like it uh, if you are curious about lakeland blends go ahead and buy a tin you you won't regret it i like it i might buy a, another tin just for like once in a while smokes anyways uh, what else nutty cut I misplaced the tin. I don't know where it went. Nutty Gut is also one of the Peterson's blends. And uh, you can say it's Connors' Choice Light. It has a good aroma. It has a little bit of a taste. Very nice if you just want to smoke something. But you don't want to really concentrate on your smoking. And if you're an aromatic fan. You might you know, try a tin or so. Um, I like it sometimes. Once in a while. <laughs> but I won't recommend it uh that was that's about it in the roundup i have four more uh tobaccos to talk about but i don't have their tens the, these were given as samples to me the next two are nat sherman blends uh also uh, it was gifted to me by one of my friends and it's nat sherman 536 empire english very nice light english loved it i'm trying to get a pound or two from the nat sherman shop I don't want to buy it on smoking pipes or someplace else. I want to get it from the source. So Empire English, Nat Sherman 536, 5 star, highly recommended. 
the next one i smoked uh, was uh, 702 dragoon very nice virginia uh, blend very sour uh, it's also i think an english yeah it's an english but with virginia forward taste to it really loved it uh, you should really try it if you are in new york city or you live nearby go and visit nat sherman uh, nat sherman shop and get it for you so nat sherman 536 highly recommended nat sherman 702 dragoon highly recommended very light smokes but lots of flavor the other two blends uh, other sorry the other three blends i have are from gq tobaccos the first one um, i did a review last year for this thing also smoked this year was uh, gq tobaccos ask with cake very nice virginia parikh if you are a lover of parikh uh, you should really try this blend lots of parikh in it lots of good steamed virginias in it i always keep uh, a 10 or 2 around it comes in a pouch what i'm saying is like i always keep 50 to 100 grams of it around me i really love it strong tobacco strong blend strong taste strong flavor profile you will certainly love it um, the next one is GQ Tobacco's Burper Cake. I really loved it last year when I started smoking, but this year um, it has become a little harsh. Uh, the first third, uh, the, the first half of the bowl is really epic. You get lots of flavor, you get lots of aroma, but the last one third uh, becomes really harsh. So what I recommend is if you uh, want to explore burper cake from gq you should smoke it in a small pipe maybe uh prints like this really small pipe i think 1.25 uh, chamber or maybe smaller than that you will certainly love it the trick to smoking this blend is to stop uh, where it start getting starts getting harsh if you are a smoker whose um you know smoking habits are like me if you like really like really if you really really love uh, strong tobaccos go ahead and finish the entire bowl i was not able i'm not able to finish the entire bowl uh, of this thing this year but highly recommended tobacco uh, from gq and you will really love it so guys this was my tobacco roundup for 2015 uh, lots of tobaccos as you can see from the video i hope you had uh, really nice time uh, looking at me talking about tobacco blends and you know moving around uh, i have a messy room i need to have some more furniture around if if i can if i could show you my desk you'll see how uh, what kind of stuff is lying around but anyways uh, thanks for uh, listening to me and viewing my video i hope you had a very uh, prosperous last year and i wish and I pray for you that you will have a really nice 2016 as well. In the next video, we'll talk about the top five tobaccos for 2015 as per my views. So stay tuned for that as well. Till the next time, light up your world, light up your pipe. See ya. Sorry guys, I'm back. I forgot to tell you about one more tobacco. Oh, let me take my headphones off. Uh, I forgot to add the GQ Christmas 2015 blend. Uh, very nice blend. Very, uh, it has improved a lot uh, from the 2014 version. This one is fantastic. Smells of rum, nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon. It basically smells of Christmas. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. So sorry for that. I missed that in the in my roundup. Um, yeah, it was also it's it, it is also a seasonal tobacco, so the stock it is out of stock. Next year, GQ uh, will make it again, uh, the 2016 version. Sorry, this year in December, he'll make it. Um, you can try it then. A very nice pen, really loved it. Smoked it in the 999 as well. Uh, that's about it. Just wanted to add one more one more tobacco to the list. Anyways, see you in my next video.